What's up, Mooch Lapers? Welcome back to the channel. We got a car vlog today, a special car vlog. The 2014 Camaro is on the channel. We are driving 16 hours straight all the way from Northern Ohio to the Emerald Coast in Florida. It is vacation mode here on Mooch Life. And I figure what a great opportunity to make a video on the Camaro. And we're gonna do something like, how good a road trip car is a Camaro? Can you drive a cross country in a Camaro? What's it like driving a Camaro long distance? So that's what we're dealing with today. We got Tootie in here. She's ready for vacay, isn't she? That's my wife Tootie if you're here for the first time. This is Mooch Monkey. Mooch Monkey comes on vacation with us everywhere we go. But here's what we're dealing with. In the back, first order of business. What can you pack inside a Camaro? Well, as you can see, more than you think. More than you think. Back seat comes down and you can shove stuff through the trunk space. When you come to the back, we'll pop the trunk. The deck lid is a little bit narrow because you got this width here. Gives it that aggressive look. But when you pop the trunk, look how much extra you lose. The actual opening of the trunk is very small, but with some careful consideration, you can really fit some things in there. So I got like a backpack in my camera bag. Mrs. Mooch, Tootie up front. Oh, I lied. I also have some car cleaning supplies and emergency care products. But Tootie, on the other hand, she packs everything. All these bags are hers. All the bags are yours. For us too. Big old suitcase. Because I don't know what to do. Drinks and snacks. I just had that one little backpack back there. Five hour energies are in the dash. Clothes are in. Everything's tidied up. Let's get the heck out of Ohio and take our butts down to FL. Not OH, not PA. FL. Here we go. We're actually not gonna start filming this until morning. So we'll be like nine hours, 10 hours into our trip at that point. And then we'll go over some pros and cons of driving this vehicle long distance. Stay tuned, we'll see you in 10 hours. <laughs> trip one. Zero miles. Now let's drive 1,000 miles, 15 hours to Florida.
in the car. We have three hours and 49 minutes left. We've been on the road since 8.30 p.m. It is now 7 a.m. Central Time, not Eastern, so it'd be like 8 a.m. Eastern. So we've been on the road for quite some time. And now's a good time to make this vlog. We got some daylight. So let's go over some things, some pros and cons that determine if the fifth gen Camaro is a road trip worthy vehicle. So one of the first things I did here, we're gonna check out the speedometer. I went ahead and set our trip, I reset that. So since we left the house, it's been 759.6 miles. Now what do you think our gas mileage is? It's a naturally aspirated 6.2 liter LS3 V8, all highway miles. And I want you guys to guess before I reveal the MPG. Guess below, no cheating. Ready? Boom, we're averaging 24.3 miles per gallon. Well, that's good, right? I guess that depends on what you consider good gas mileage. To me, that's good gas mileage. To some, it may not be. With the electric vehicles taking over the world and all these four-cylinder turbos and such, the gas mileage is expected to be greater, you know. I think it's good, but let me know what you think in the comments below. So that's one thing to consider about road tripping your Camaro. Another point to make about road tripping your Camaro is the visibility. As you can see in this overlay, I got our halogen headlights on this 1SS Camaro shining brightly. But the problem is they're not that bright at all. So when you're driving through the night, this particular Camaro is not very good as far as seeing. If I put the high beams on, which I didn't show you guys, it actually looks like good low beams on a modern vehicle. Having said that, this is a 1SS with halogen. If you get an RS in the 5th gen, you get LED lighting, like a halo with a, I think it's an HID projector lamp in the middle. Don't quote me, I can't remember. And I'm trying to visualize it, but I think that's what it is. So I'm sure the visibility would be better. So that would be specific on the trim package you have. I have like the base trim package here on the SS. So visibility, no bueno. Another thing to consider is the Camaro a road trip worthy vehicle is occupancy. <laughs> Me and my wife Tootie, we're chilling, right? She packs heavy, as you can tell, and I pack light. But you can tell here, the back seat is full. It's actually flipped down, so you have to consider families. If you want to take your two kiddos on the trip with you, you gotta pack extra, extra light because where the heck are they gonna sit? It's gonna be a problem. You got two little ones and you're going backpacks for a week? Yeah, but in normal circumstances, not really. It's not gonna be a good time crammed back there. If you're over like nine years old, you have no leg room. So for uh, couples, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, no children, or maybe some little kids, it would be okay. The last thing I wanna go over here in the Camaro about road tripping is considering the weather. Most of these Camaros, you buy one, you get a V8, rear wheel drive, summer only tires. Are you gonna be driving this somewhere that's full of winter weather? Where, where, where's it snowy? Where are we going? It's snowy. Colorado. Colorado. Are you driving the Camaro to Colorado for a vacation? You can, but you better be cautious and check your uh, weather quite closely. Because if you run into inclement weather, you're gonna have a hard time getting out of the snow in your V8 Camaro. Now, if you got a V6 or a four cylinder, you know, maybe you have better luck, but they're still real world drive. Uh, I would be very, very cautious. So, so is the Camaro a road trip worthy vehicle? I vote yes. Tootie and I, we're driving it. We're having a good time. Third year in a row going to Florida. Our next vlog, we'll be filming a bunch of the city we're going to, and we'll be putting that on our channel, so you want to stay tuned for that. But a couple, no children, heavy packers, driving in the warm weather. The car's got all the pep in its step, 
it's cool we actually get some thumbs up from people driving down the road a, a guy in a ford explorer actually came up to us rolled out his window was like that's such a nice car well of course it is but anyhow <laughs> tony is this is this vehicle are we road tripping in the do you enjoy road tripping in the camaro kind of <laughs> she wants to take the truck but you're going to Florida, you gotta get your uh, sports car out. You gotta enjoy it, man. So we're putting on the miles on this on this old girl and we're gonna finish up. We got three and a half more hours. So we're gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for uh, watching this vlog. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out more Camaro videos. I do stuff with traveling and my truck. I have a Silverado. We got a new Ford Bronco Sport. Making cool videos on that and different things with my camp. We go camping, we cook, there's some cooking vlogs. We got all kinds of variety on my channel. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. So thanks for watching this. That's Tootie. I'm Mooch. This is Mooch Life. Peace out. <laughs>